Hey guys, Thunderstead here, and today we are looking back at Jinzo. We've made a deck purely for Jinzo. He's definitely not a good enough boss monster to focus on and be successful in the meta, but he's fun for memes, shuts down all traps, and he does have a cutscene of his own with one of my favorite characters, Esperoba. So it's a little uh, worth it for me. It's actually pretty fun. Had some really great duels with this deck, some really funny duels you can watch in the replays. So, uh, Nothing too extremely new here. I think the newest card is Super Team Buddy Force Unite. And just like Psychic Shockwave, they are traps, which is counterintuitive to Jinzo. But they're traps to help get your Jinzo on the field. So usually when you're using these traps, you don't have a Jinzo on the field. Other means to get Jinzo out, we have Unknown Synchron. We have Cost Down. We have Injector, who will tribute himself, flip up your opponent's spell and trap cards if they have any traps. You destroy it and summon a Jinzo. Pretty cool little effect if you're able to get it off. I don't think I am in the replays. So with things like that, Super Team Buddy Force Unite, and this boy who, when he's sent from the graveyard, will or sent to the graveyard, will special summon a Jinzo from the graveyard. You lose it in your end phase, but it's a good reason to have Jinzo in your graveyard. So we run Scrap Recyclers. We have Card Troopers who can mill out three and gain attack. Pretty useful for getting your Jinzos in the graveyard because as you can see from this little screenshot right here you get up to four Jinzos in your deck thanks to Psychic Onslaught so you're really just following around but what makes him a competent boss instead of just a 2400 beat stick who ignores traps is this old card Gravity Blaster think of Samurai Destroyer you know how Samurai Destroyer's effect works Gravity Blaster works just the same, but it gives your Jinso 400 attack once per turn permanently. If it battles an opponent's monster, the monster's effect is negated during the battle phase only. So, completely negates effects in the sense of Samurai Destroyer. It's not they just can't activate effects. If they're using effects to buff themselves, they are gone once they battle. You'll see all that in the replays. Very strong card for Jinzo. Makes him a pretty competent boss monster, but still, even just blue eyes, you have a hard time getting over at a 3,000 monster. So that's not going to last anywhere near in the meta. Still fun enough for me, May. And now we have XCs. We have level 6 XCs. We have level 3 XCs. We still have Synchros with Haster since we are using Unknown Synchron. Uh, yeah, so overall, nothing too crazy new from this one. But still a fun little archetype to get some cutscenes and stuff like that in. And it's honestly some really entertaining duels, so I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing a Pegasus. Going first. He's using a wood sleeve and an Egyptian mat, or a hieroglyph mat, I should say. So we have two Super Team Buddy Force Unite. He sets a monster, sets a back row. We're going to special summon an unknown synchron, normal summon our Jinzo outright. Now those two back row may be useless, they could be spells, but if they're traps, they are no more thanks to Jinzo. He's like Cabal from Mortal Kombat mixed with Bane and all sorts of crazy stuff. Very intimidating character. Put him with the Gravity Blaster. Block down even our own Super Team Buddy Force Unites. Look at this. This boy is trying to use the flip effect. The monster that attacks this card is returned to its owner's hand. What? We negate it, obviously, with our Gravity Blaster here. He's using Power of the Guardians. This is probably a cheese combo. He's use Power of the Guardians. Anything that battles Quebec is returned to the hand. So even if he swings into something higher than him, he's going to be returning stuff to his hand and not get destroyed. Sadly for him, Gravity Blaster is the perfect counter to this boy. We don't have means over Power of the Guardians just yet, but his effect is never going to hurt us. Even if he attacks, even if we just keep attacking him in defense, there's nothing he can do. So that's another monster, we're going to go for it. Sandmoth, another effect when it's destroyed, but we don't allow it to go off. Gravity Blaster once again, we're up to 4k guys. We let him try to use his effect, try to use his uh, Power of the Guardians. Nothing really happening, just showing off our 4k Jin. so he passes again. We are beating him in the draw phase. He's down to 11, we're down to 12. So he will deck out first. 
We're just waiting, getting that chin so nice and fat. He's still getting super fat, guys. Now check this out. He's brought an Amazonist Swordswoman. What's gonna win, guys? Her effect of reflecting the damage to us or Gravity Blaster negating all effects. Remember, it works like Samurai Destroyer, so he's about to hit himself for some fat damage in lethal. Over 3k. Finish the duel for me. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zane True Style going second. Casey Cup saving Matt. We got Shum Psychic Onslaught. We only got one extra Jinzo to make three total. 21 card deck. Fighting Gladiator Beast. So Jinzo will actually have a pretty good use against this deck. We're gonna use Cost Down. Throw away a Jinzo. He's gonna disarm it. So we just wasted a bunch of resources. He has to waste some resources too by returning Gladiator Beast. But uh, we're off to the races. So I'm gonna set a Super King Buddy Force Unite. He's gonna set another monster. And then swing with his Demakari. Now he's gonna bring out a Bestiari to destroy our back row. But that's not gonna hurt us too bad. As Super Team Buddy Force will just bring itself out once again. He's using Double Tag to bring out a Darius. We bring out our Super Team Buddy Force Unite, does not stop our timing. And then we get an Unknown Synchron, so we're able to Special Summon him. Now we're gonna Super Team Buddy Force Unite out Jinzo. Now we can do a 7th Synchro. Our boy has no back row. No traps for Jinzo to shut down. So why not do a Synchro? We'll go Samurai Destroyer. No point in putting the Gravity Blaster on Samurai Destroyer. Unless you absolutely need the attack. Because he already has that effect. But uh, it's not the point. Now we have a back row. They use a lot of traps. We top tech another Jinzo. That means we're going to tribute our Samurai Destroyer for Jinzo. Put the Gravity Blaster on him. Now he's a Samurai Destroyer himself. We go with one Gladiator Beast down. Can't use their effects with Gravity Blaster. Not that he had any flip effects or anything. Sets another back row. Likely a trap. We bring out our Returner. Gravity Blaster him up to 3200. Swing over Darius says poor defense with the Returner. And then we finish him off with a 3200 Jinzo. Great, great stuff there. Alright, here we are facing a Jaden Yuki going second. He's using Tyranno, Sleeve and Mad, super random. We're showing Psychic Onslaught. He's actually pure Neo Space. So we have a cost down, but nothing to cost down. Some Returners and an Unknown Synchron. We do have a play with that. Top Tech a Super Team Buddy Force Unite. We're gonna special summon the Unknown Synchron. Normal summon the Returner. That's gonna be an old entity Haster. It's actually a pretty good card versus Neos too. So we swing into an AD changer. He's gonna pass his turn, still just one back row. We get Jinzo himself, so we're gonna cost down, throw away a returner, and now here is Jinzo. So whatever that back row is that he was confident enough to sit on, he's gotta hope it wasn't a trap, because all traps are useless. Thanks to Jinzo. So we, we're out here swinging. No delay anymore. He did have a delay before, which makes me question what it was. Maybe a Karma Cut. And he gets hit for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. Going second. Let's leave a map for our boy. Psychic Onslaught puts us at 21. That means only one Jinzo. He's using 21 card balance, no less two. So Roma Gardening now, they use a lot of traps, and they set some traps, so our Jin's Objector could be pretty useful, but our boy flips up his plus and wins, which means we're just going to use that top deck Unknown Synchron as a tribute fodder for Jinzo himself. That means all these Aromages traps that they rely on are going to be completely useless, even Bless and Winds, of course. Then we show him the Gravity Blaster. To just let him know we're gonna get nice and fat, and he should scoop from the duel. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Crowler. Going second. Let's see what our boys got for us. We're using Psychic Onslaught. We did add two Jinzos. So right now we have Bricked. But we get our Psychic Shockwave. And a Super Team Buddy Force Unite, so if our opponent uses any back row, we're gonna have means to get him. He does not use back row. He uses Phoenix Beast uh, Geruda. 
pretty weird. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, this card gains 300 during the damage step only. So, uh, weird little monster you virtually never see. We top deck a cost down, though, so we're able to throw away one Jinzo to bring out a second Jinzo. Now, we have our Gravity Blaster, which makes him a Samurai Destroyer, essentially, which is going to be perfect against this monster, because he would get up to 2800 with his effect during the battle phase, but we're going to keep him right at his 2500, thanks to Gravity Blaster. It uh, beats his effect, doesn't gain it, and he's swung over it. So now our boy uh, goes with the cruiser, kamikazes himself, clearly duels over. Can't use any traps, uh, we get a returner. Remember, gravity boosters each turn, didn't really need it for this duel, not quite a confident deck, but a good show of gravity boosters effect to turn you into a samurai destroyer effectively. But uh, yeah, Jinzo's pretty cool, he just needs a lot of help. That's pretty much all this deck does, is try to get him out. A gravity booster on him. Definitely not, clearly not meta. That's why it's in the May. But I love Esperoba, I love Jinzo. Super fun to play it again and some super fun duels. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.